he understands, you know, emotion, he understands subtext, he understands, you know, a character's intention and objective, all those things that are so important. It isn't, isn't about exposition or about narrative, it's about who are the, who are the people in the story. You know, Stallone, and this is an interesting backstory, he originally bought the book uh, and wrote, wrote the script for himself. He was going to play the part 10, 12 years ago, and I think he decided he didn't want to do it anymore and was going to produce it. Phil Broker is the classic Western hero. He's the guy with the, the um, flawed, dark backstory and, again, a skill set. Uh, and he moves to a small town in Louisiana with his daughter and um, trying to keep a quiet life. And Jason Statham, you know, brings to this character all the levels of, of complexity and, and sort of internal smoldering that you hope from this character. Um, Phil Broker is a guy that you don't want to mess with. He's a guy that the audience knows that. The audience knows that he's a guy that's very dangerous, but it seems like people around him don't quite know that. James Franco has never played, in my knowledge anyway, played a, quote unquote, the heavy, the bad guy. And the great thing about Gator Bodine is he's not going to outfight, out, outmatch uh, the octagon, um, the broker character. He's going he's gonna to try to outsmart him, outwit him. And ultimately, he has zero respect for a cop an ex-cop in this case. So Bodine's a guy that's opportunistic and desperate, um, and he's a classic sociopath in that way. So, you know, I think Franco brings all the humor and the wit and the eccentricity to this character. Cheryl Mott, who plays uh, uh, James Franco's love interest and, and kind of bizarre partner in crime. And Winona Ryder plays her, and Winona is playing in this case, a, a beaten down former uh, biker chick who joins forces with, with uh, Franco to, to sell out, you know, sort of to uncover the whereabouts of Phil Broker. Early in the process, I said this to the producers, I said, if we don't find the perfect actress to play Maddie, you know, Maddie Broker, this film will not work. If we can't get the heart of the story, the film won't work. And, um, Ironically, the very first day of casting in Los Angeles, our casting director interviewed Isabella Vidovich. She came in, the first person who came in that day is Isabella. And that night I was watching um, casting tapes on my laptop. And I said to the casting director, you found her. This is the one. With Franco, you know, James is, you know, he's, he's a very complicated, interesting guy. And, you know, again, there's an eccentricity to him in real life. And we got to the set the first day of filming, and it was simply him walking into the house when he's, he's burglarizing the house. And I just, all of a sudden, you, you know, he became that guy. The look, the intensity, it just, it, he became predatory. He became predatory. And it wasn't about him being big or being muscular or being fast. It just became something where he just became like, like a, a viper. And, you know, I realized that I didn't have to worry. He had it. She's the kind of person in a town that you probably want to avoid. Avoid her at the cafe, in the diner, at the gas station. You just don't want to, she just reeks of this kind of, this angry negative energy. And what I also felt that would manifest also physically, that she wouldn't, that she shouldn't even physically be, she should sort of just, she's this town, she's kind of a pariah. And I didn't know if, I'd never seen her do that. I'd never seen Kate do that type of role before. But we met. And I saw in her eyes, she was fearless. There was no vanity. She said, I'll, I won't wear makeup. I'll wear clothes from, you know, from Walmart and Sears. I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna you know, come, up, come to the set with like pancake makeup and designer clothes. She's like, she's like, let's bring it on. I won't wash my hair. Um, I'll even smoke in the film. So, you know, she brought this real fearless quality to this performance that, that in the very first day of filming, I was, I was knocked out. I will say about Winona that she'll go for it. Scene to scene during filming, you know, I would give her a task or an idea. And also Franco and her had this great relationship because he would say, let's try this, let's try that. And, and she would, she'd say, all right, let's go for it. She's a very smart actress and she really cares about the motivation. She really cares about, you know, every scene, like, you know, where am I coming from? Where am I going with this? Homefront, you know, ties into the, the classic Western paradigm of a, 
uh, ex-lawman who goes to live a quiet life in a small town who finds out that he can't just escape his past. Uh, and that's the basic idea here is that, you know, Phil Broker, Jason Satham's character, moves to a small town in Louisiana after a huge bus goes bad. He moves with his daughter. His wife has just passed away. He's grieving. He's in isolation. He's off the grid. And the premise is that his daughter creates, um, unwittingly creates a feud with a local family in town. And that feud escalates and escalates and magnifies to the point where all of a sudden his cover is blown and um, the character of Gator Bodine, played by James Franco, decides to um, sell, out, sell out his cover and use him to his own gain and puts Broker in harm's way. Jason, you know, when you meet him in person, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a very sweet, charming, and, and almost shy guy. It's not really his persona that he's, he's put out there, you know, successfully on screen. It was fun in the film to explore that, the other side of him, the, the Jason that you don't get to see, the charm, the smile, the humor, um, and the humility.